Delta Zero here from Living Vicariously HD on YouTube, and today I have the May 2015 Arcade Block to review. The Arcade Block is kind of like a subsidiary of um, Nerd Block. It's the same company, but if you know what Nerd Block is, it's based off of the box surprise model of Loot Crate. And if you don't know what Loot Crate is, just use Google. What can I do? Uh, this box is very cool. It's modeled off of the original NES. It complete with the uh, audio and video jacks, although it's been a while since I've dusted off my NES, but I don't think it had social media on the side. Could be wrong. Uh, yeah, even the bottom, which is very cool. I didn't, I, I didn't even know this. Um, it has the fake cardboard bumper things to keep it from sliding everywhere. It's a pretty cool representation of the NES. Very creative, and I can put something nostalgic in there. I don't know, like my old Pogs from 1994 perhaps. Allow me to preface this for a second. I'm not a big fan of these subscription boxes and uh, I'll tell you why. The thing is, is I don't know what nerd culture is. I just like video games and like I guess WB counts to some extent. And if I get like a Bazinga shirt in this thing, I'm going to be really PO'd. Um, but I figure this is a kind of a safer bet. Like if, you know, I don't, I'm not into anime. I'm not into some of the things that people like, you know, teach their own, but it's not my thing. So I figure Arcade Block, it's focusing on video games, there's a safe bet I'm going to like the bulk of what's in here. I have no idea what's in this particular box, this is the May 2015 one. There we go, check this out. I wonder if that code's going to work now. Alright, I'm excited, I've never had one of these before, let's see what all the fuss is about. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. Arcade Block. Hashtag. Alright, right away I see what it looks like an interesting shirt. Uh. Hmm. Okay, I reckon. Is, is this a Final Fantasy theme? Oh, oh, no, look, there's a Pikmin. I like that. I like the Pikmin. Uh, I think that's a thing from Final Fantasy. I don't really know what this is supposed to be. Uh, octopus versus fire guy. Amazing t-shirt. It has a bunch of RPG stats. Okay. Limited edition t-shirts for new... Okay. From Shirt Punch, I've worked from them before. I don't know what this is a reference to. I'll look into it later. See what a great nerd I am. And we have a hat. Ah, oh, cool! Okay, I like this. It is a foxhound hat from Metal Gear Solid. Okay, I like this now. Foxhound Special Forces is green military hat. Nothing on the back, but hey, that's cool. That's something I'll actually wear, probably. I have a huge head. You know what? I'm going to see if this fits. I have a very big head. Hold on. A hat that fits my head. Eureka! All right. That's a good thing. What do we got in here now? We have... Kick Punch. Oh, okay, it's a uh, Parappa the Rapper reference. What is this? Is this a magnet? I think it's a magnet. Neat. Okay. And I see something South Park. What the heck? Oh, a Princess Kenny <laughs> from the Stick of Truth. Okay. So there's Princess Kenny. From the Stick of Truth video game, I've actually yet to really play it. Um, I've been interested, I would like to play it, but I haven't. But I like South Park, uh, mainly the season 6 through 9 or something like that. I don't know. Somewhere in the early middle is like the peak of South Park, but nevertheless, I like South Park, and that's something. I'll open it in a little bit. Alright, next we have... Okay, oh cool, it's like a window thing for your car. Blue shell on board. And you would stick it to the suction cup to your car. Mine's already cracked open. That's lovely. Is this a exclusive? Manufactured by NerdBlock. So yes, I presume this is actually an exclusive item. See, it's made of like a... Uh, I don't know what kind of material. Like a, like a thin little plastic material. Just put it on your car. Blue shell on board. And we... Oh, I don't know what this is. I have a box. This is the last... Looks like the last item in this thing. What is this? It's a glass. Oh, how neat. It's a... Oh, it's like a, a Zelda-themed jar. 
I love that sound. Let me do that again. Ah, I love that. Cool. Half heart thing, Zelda jar. I can store all my fairies in there. Good. They need something to do other than do my laundry. And that looks to be it. Okay. And here's all the items. Okay, so the shirt is fi Fantasy Fighter, Monsters and Creatures from Final Fantasy, against one another for a video game, fighting game. Well, as someone who doesn't play RPGs, that t-shirt's kind of lost to me, but it looks like an interesting design for what it is. Special Forces military cap. It is a magnet from Parappa the Rappa, although they can't say that because it's not an official item. <laughs> although this Metal Gear Solid one has to be because it's actually the logo and it has Foxhound on it. That is our arcade block. And here's something I just noticed on the box. A boy and his block. Trouble in Blockalonia, which is a parody of a boy and his blob for the NES. Well, let's see. For almost $30, we have the blue shell on board thing for your car. The Metal Gear Solid military-esque cap with fox sound on it. Although that fox looks like he has two black eyes. Uh, we have the Zelda jar, which is interesting. The Parappa the Rappa kick punch. It's all in the mind. Magnet. Definitely did not expect a Parappa the Rappa item. That caught me by surprise. And a Kenny from the Stick of Truth, which I'm actually going to open right now. Very violently. Ugh. Oh my god, that smells toxic. Oh. <laughs> Oh my... Ugh, ugh. All right, and Kenny with his or her, let's not get Tumblr angry, bow and arrow. And the bow and arrow actually does have a real string on it right here. Look! But look! Attached to the soft plastic. Made in... Sh made in somewhere, doesn't say where. <laughs> and there's a real string on his actual little hoodie. It's almost like a pop vinyl style figure, although it works very well for South Park since that's kind of how they look. I was really hoping there wasn't a pop vinyl thing in here. I don't like those things at all, but this is fitting for South Park. Almost forgot the t-shirt. Here's the Final Fantasy themed t-shirt that also comes included. So all this basically for about almost 30 bucks. I will say this, it's not fair to really factor in the shipping costs, just because if you bought all these items individually, you'd pay for shipping anyway. Um, so with that said, a t-shirt, a hat, the glass, the other little knickknacks that come with it, the surprise factor, which is a big deal, that's all worth $19.99 on a technical standpoint. Now, is the perceived value worth it on the personal level? Um, it's up to the eye of the beholder. What would entice me to order these things is if they had specific boxes every month, like for they'd have like a Nintendo box and it'd have a, an exclusive amiibo repaint and all kinds of Nintendo items. An Uncharted box that was shaped like a treasure chest and had all kinds of cool, like a pendant and little treasures and all kinds of neat things. That would be something I would pay $19.99 plus shipping a month for. So in closing, I really like the hat and the, the glass jar. Um, but other than that, I'm not really too thrilled with what this one had. But that's just my personal opinion. You're free to have your own. Thanks for watching. But it's the ethereal music that melds the gloomy atmosphere.